what do you have there? Tell me, what is that? Oh, you recognize that it wasn't one of my books. No, this is uh, John Milton, the complete poems and major prose of. I wonder, could I pour your glasses? Right. So, I'm going to read you a, a passage that has a, has a great deal of meaning to me. I, I read it, I come to this almost every day. To be or not to be. Susan, tell me what an actual day in the life is like for you. Oh, that is a great question. It's very hard. I don't think people understand how hard it is to be a writer. The work, the focus, the dedication. It's important to get the blood flowing to aid in the creative process, to keep both lobes, both hemispheres moving. Stephen King has said that he writes for eight hours a day. I think we can agree he is no John Milton. However, if he were to tweak his writing process, I feel that he could become a lot more productive, considerably more prolific. I would say that willpower is another crucial piece of that puzzle. You have to trust that even when you're feeling empty, when you don't have anything, that the muse will come back and, and there will be something for you to share with your readers, with the world, really. The key is to avoid distractions. And you also want to practice discipline. People have no idea how many distractions are available in the world. They're everywhere. Distractions are. And those of us who have a, a functional writing process what we do is we manage to avoid those distractions. The other thing that people don't know is that writers have to spend a great deal of time trying to avoid common writer ailments. There are a lot of physical difficulties associated with the craft of writing. Carpal tunnel, frozen shoulder, these kinds of things. We need to stay motivated and stay healthy and stay in the process. It's just all about persistence. It's about avoiding distractions. No one understands really how tough it is to be a writer. I would say it's a 24-7 occupation. When you're working on a novel, the pace can be grueling. People have no idea. I think if people knew how hard we worked, they would pay us more. That's what I think.